now I'm going to paint the floor on this. These are mixes of my mud, which again, that's two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And then I have added cadmium orange into that and some cadmium red light. And I need to mix a little more of my mud into this mixture just to give me a darker, darker shade. So this is my mud plus cadmium orange plus a tiny bit of white. And this just gives me a darker dark. And this is going to be an old tile floor, so there's, we want a lot of variation in the color in this. As we go back, we'll start getting some, this is a mixture of phthalo blue plus cadmium orange, kind of just a cool color. Come back here under the Emma's tail. Some of that cooler color. I want my cooler color to be at the back edge of the floor because cool colors go back, warm colors come forward. And this cool color, the blue is cool, and so it goes back. And this is a mixture of white plus ultramarine blue. That's even a little bit cooler. I'm going to bring some of that under Tina's front paw here. Jack would call that her hand. You can, again, I'm using the bright brush, that square ended brush, and that really allows me to work around my drawing and just get right there in the corners. I keep cleaning my brush. The secret to clean pretty color on your canvas is a clean brush. I'm going to bring some blue back here. Dark here, the his shadow is, or his tail is casting a little shadow there. Now I'm going to bring my lighter shades because this, the light's casting just streaming across the tile here. And this is a little bit darker, going back. Get a little smaller brush here. Okay, I want to come here and Little this dark, come across here, and I want the light stream here. Got a little shadow there, and these old tile floors are colors. They have different colors in them, and different shades. Going to bring a little of this blue down in here behind him. See, I had a dirty brush, so I didn't get my nice clean color. Wipe my brush, get my ultramarine blue plus white, and that just gives us a little coolness there. Okay, now I, when I painted the wall, I softened this transition between the floor and the wall, and I want to go back and soften it a little bit more. Just don't want that real distinct. And a little light just streaming right past his foot there. The light just in here. Then I want this dark be here so that that light doesn't pull you off the edge of the canvas. And then 
and I can just, I want to smooth the edges of my shadows just a little bit, soften them. So that's, that's the floor. Now I'm going to draw tile lines in here. I think I am. I'm just trying to determine how I want my tile lines to go. My perspective. Do I want them all this way? Or do I want them this way? I want them this way because that will lead your eye into the cats. Okay. So I start. This is a mixture of mud plus liquid. And I just draw my tile lines into the wet paint of the floor. Okay, and this is this is a little awkward because the camera is sort of where I would be standing normally when I paint these. So but the tile lines are done freehand in order to make them straight. If I tried to use brace my hand as I painted them, I wouldn't be able to pull straight lines. But I just pull it into that wet paint and they don't have to be real dark or distinct. I mean that pulled up some of that light into there which is fine. Now, I have done these so many that I can pretty well eyeball the perspective. in my mirror. I have a mirror placed behind me that I can look at my painting in the mirror and see if I have perspective correct. Okay, I go up here. I kind of got that line in a place I didn't want it. So I just take some of my blue and cut that out. Erase it. line will come here, 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 this line, and that last line is covered over by Emma's tail. So that's how I do my tile floors. You normally don't see them up this close. I usually, with my garden pieces, the floor is smaller and, and at a distance so the tile lines are, are closer together. But that's how I do my floors. Thank you for watching. If you ever have any questions, just write me, just ask them in the comments section and I'll be happy to answer you. And again, I just appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. And today while you're out and about, if you see somebody that just looks like they're having a tough time, Give them a big smile. You never know what your smile will do for somebody. You just don't know what's happening in their life, and sometimes that smile just is the only bright spot in their day. So you have a wonderful, wonderful day. If you'd like to visit my blog, the link is in the description below. It's also on the final frame of my YouTube video. And thank you again.